With Ariam adding 1.4%, the DB chatter is maybe this is the last window of opportunity to do a deal to bring together Blue Scope and Ariam as one. Is it a possibility? Is it a live possibility? There's a possibility that synergies make sense and I guess Arium is very much in play at the moment after that bid from the consortium. The next few days are going to be important because Arium does do a tour of its uh, mining operations to some of its major investments. So I guess the big thing that they'll be talking about there is whether to engage with the consortium that's put a bid on the table at 75 cents. And in terms of Arium shareholders, what a roller coaster ride going from one of the worst performing blue chips in September to probably one of the best performing in September we saw Arium shares losing 16%, but in October so far, up by a massive 31% on the back of that uh, takeover bid being knocked back. We have a look at that consortium and some of the motives. We know POSCO is that giant Korean steel maker, and they think they can lower the cost of production. They have a technology called Phoenix, which eliminates the need for coke in the steel production process. So it believes that it can lower the cost of production uh, for Arium. And of course, the iron ore assets are are also very attractive. POSCO has about 30 to 35 percent of its iron ore requirements in its control. It's aiming to lift that to 50 percent and Arium's iron ore um, assets will go somewhat to helping uh, lift that amount. If we have a look at Arium's expected output next year, it's about two million tons of um, tons of ore per annum. If we have a look at uh, Noble, well, they're probably interested in the marketing rights. That sits with BHP Billiton at the moment. But of course, a lot of speculation that Arium and uh, Blue Scope still could make a good fit and the synergies extracted from that may make more sense than a takeover uh, by this international consortium. So Arium very much in play. The last couple of days have been fantastic for the share price and the share price really inching closer to that 75 cent mark that the consortium has made with the uh, mining tour over the next couple of days and some of the major shareholders looking over the assets, no doubt that the major topic of conversation is whether or not to engage with this consortium. Turn into the banking space, uh, early gains for the NAB, uh, Combank well supported as well. Uh, listen, in terms of just who might be first of the big four, you know, is that material so much as the overall environment that they're now inhabiting and uh, really net net the contest and, and the battle between keeping those loyal deposit holders on board and the need to, I suppose, uh, trigger fresh growth if there's demand for it. The banks are being watched very closely to see uh, what they're going to pass on in terms of uh, the, that RBA move that we saw yesterday to some of the mortgage holders. And I guess, as you mentioned, Carson, it is a battle between some of the uh, people who are looking for income and those term deposits being very important there, and of course, those people holding mortgages. We saw Bank of Queensland cutting by 20 basis points yesterday. That takes its standard variable to 6.71%. And now the wait is on to see which of the big four moves first. Of course, of course, with ANZ, we're not actually expecting to hear an announcement till the second uh, Friday of the month, so that's the 12th of October. And National Australia Bank also expected to be a laggard given its commitment to be the lowest standard variable rate of the big four for 2012. So really we're watching CBA and Westpac to see which bank makes the uh, first move and the size of the move. We have a look at the capacity for uh, passing on the full move. CBA probably has the least capacity and if we have a look at its net interest margin it's the lowest out of the big banks at about 2.09 percent Westpac is a bit stronger at 2.17 percent or around about there but ANZ is the strongest at about 2.37 uh, percent so we will be watching the big four banks closely but if we do see a move it does look like the biggest move may come from the likes of Westpac and ANZ and NAB of course isn't going to be a price setter this time around but keeping to its commitment of keeping its rates stable we have a look at the big four banks generally this interest rate cut does tend to be a positive for the banks. They won't pass on the full move or it's unlikely that they'll pass on the full move and that means uh, their net interest margins should improve. If we have a look at uh, the performance of the banks after that interest rate cut, I guess Commonwealth Bank has been a laggard in terms of share price performance and that's really because it's already paid its dividend. So shareholders will have to wait till February till the shares go ex-dividend next and then April once the dividend is paid whereas the other three banks still have their dividend yet to come in November. November. So Commonwealth Bank will probably continue to be a laggard. NAB has the highest uh, dividend yield of the big four banks, so we'll probably see NAB well supported. Performance inextricably tied to the performance of some of those key commodities. And this is the one that if, if you were 
a betting person, you would be spinning a roulette wheel to make a brave call inside six months on where we'd be sitting. Well, we've seen a very volatile ride for these mining service companies, and Boat Longyear has been one of the most volatile. The fact that we are seeing its CEO departing quite surprisingly will be a negative for the shares, and it comes at a time when there are a lot of question marks over uh, the mining service industries. The next year looks fine, but it's after FY14 where the concern is, and whether we are going to see more capital expenditure coming through from the mining companies, especially the big majors. So Boat Longyear expected to come under pressure, and I guess the CEO departing at a time which is quite difficult uh, for the underlying business and the share price. So we will be watching this one, but no doubt the shares will come under pressure with the uncertainty that's been added into the business.